In this next Codex Smart Touch application video, I'm going to cover how to set up a new Scan2 destination. I want to send scan images from my Gmail account using my Codex scanner and the Codex Smart Touch application. To do this, I need to bring up the Codex Smart Touch application window by clicking on the scanner icon located in the system tray and then clicking on configure. I'm going to choose task shortcut number 7, email black and white PDF as it closely represents my scanning needs. Under Scan2, click on the plus sign and select Webmail. This will bring up a Webmail window. In the destination name field, type in Gmail. This is a name that will appear in the drop down destination list. Under Sender Information, I need to type in my name and return email address in the appropriate fields. The name entered is the name of the sender that will appear in the email. The return address is the email address of the sender that will appear in the email. Now I need to enter the SMTP server settings. The SMTP server address for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. Gmail requires TLS or SSL encryption with port 587 for TSL and port 465 for SSL. I'm going to use port 465 with encryption SSL. Gmail also requires authentication, so I need to click on my server requires authentication. Now I need to enter in my Gmail account name along with my password. Gmail allows a maximum attachment size of 25 megabytes, so I'm going to increase the file size to 25 megabytes. Now that all the information has been filled out, click on OK. Now notice that the destination field has Gmail listed and it is associated with task shortcut number 7. I would also like to name the image prior to sending it, so I'm going to click on Name File Prior to Sending. To save my changes, click on Apply, then click on OK to close the Smart Touch window. Now I'm going to put a couple of documents into the input tray of the scanner. I can start the scanner by either using the buttons on the scanner or by using the mouse. I'm going to use the mouse and click on the scanner icon in the system tray and then click on number 7. The scanner will start and a preview of the scanned documents will be displayed. I will be prompted to enter in the file name. I will then be prompted with a webmail information window. Fill out all the fields with the appropriate information. Once all the information has been entered, click on Send to send the email along with the attachment of the scanned images. This concludes how to set up a new Scan2 destination. Be sure to check out the other Codex Smart Touch application videos for more information on how to use the Codex Smart Touch application.